Hello everyone, this is Jerry Papali'i. Welcome to day 21 of Lent, also day 21 of building and sustaining ministry leaders through Christ Jesus. Thank you for joining me. During this time of Lent, we're focusing on building our relationship with God through reading His Word and praying and fasting and doing just the things of God that will help us get closer to Him and doing it daily to build a system where we can receive His his word and receive his presence and to receive his instructions on how to be a better person in the community at work with our families so just to represent christ well and to re represent god well so we've been talking about leadership traits like focus discernment servant leadership um, commitment um communic well today is communication that's the, the one for today and also other traits that we've been, you know, like character, charisma, um, problem solving, um, you know, traits that can help us um, become better leaders, to, to be a leader in the community, to be a leader at work, to be a leader in the home setting, in all these different settings. Because during this time of, of the, this coronavirus thing, you know, things are being stripped away, you know, events being canceled, schools being canceled, uh, you know, so everything is being stripped away from from us. Um, so God is trying to get our attention. So as Christians, we must go back to the basics, go back to reading God's word, receiving the truth of God's word in, in our quiet time during prayer, because God is, is, is speaking to us. He wants us to humble ourselves. And, you know, we must humble ourselves and, Go back to the Word of God so that God can heal the land and bring and bring healing to the whole world, you know, in our communities, in our nation, and worldwide as well. So as, as leaders, we must take the lead and set the tone and, and help people to get back to the basics of reading God's Word, to the basics of humbling ourselves and yielding ourselves to the power of the Holy Spirit, to the power of God in our lives. Okay, so today's word is communication. But before I go into that trait, that leadership trait of communication or effective communication, I wanted to talk about um, a few scriptures. So 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5, it's a NIV version, New International Version, it says, so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom but on God's power. So human wisdom is good. We would we'll use human wisdom for what it's worth, but God's wisdom, God's power is much mightier. It's at another level. Okay, so God's power, we must rely on His power and His love and grace during this time. And He's here for us. We just have to receive it receive it into our heart, receive the gospel of Jesus Christ into our hearts and receive God's power because God's power will help you through this hard time. So that's what the scripture is saying. Do not place your faith on, the, on human wisdom, but on God's power. So that's reliance on the spirit of God. So the next scripture I wanted to read is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. Also the new international version it says however as it is written what no eye has seen what no ear has heard what and what no human mind has conceived the things god has prepared for those who love him these are the things god has revealed to us by his spirit the spirit searches all things even the deep things of god for who knows a person's thoughts except through their own spirit within them. In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. So this is saying that the wisdom of God is only known through the Holy Spirit. Our eye has not seen, our ears have not heard, our mind has not even conceived what great things that God has for those who love Him. And those things are the things that the Spirit of God reveals. And the only way you can accept or receive that is through reading his word so christians minister leaders community people that are listening to this get back to the basics you know all of these things happen for a reason and during this time that this coronavirus is, is spreading 
It is a time that you must humble yourselves, receive the gospel truth of Jesus Christ through reading his word, accepting it, applying it to your life, and watch things change. God's going to heal the land and everything's going to be great. And then, you know, so have faith in God. Don't rely on, on what human wisdom can bring about. We use, use it for what it's worth, but God's power and wisdom is above at a higher level. And that is what we can rely on, the Word of God. Okay. So the Spirit of God, the thoughts. So we cannot know God unless we know Him through His Holy Spirit. And the only way we can do that is through receiving Christ into our heart so that our spirit can align with God's Spirit. And now we're able to receive that, that, that wisdom, that, um, that guidance. Uh, the Spirit of God to speak and reveal all the things that God has and He wants to reveal. But we have to read His Word so that we can hear His Spirit because the Word of God is the living Word of God. And once it's spoken into your life, the Word of God will not go back void. It will accomplish what it is set out to accomplish. And if that's healing, it's healing for your body. If that's healing for your spirit, healing for your spirit, a transformed life, a transformed um, spirit, and then you're, you're a new creation now. But all of that starts with first humbling yourself and receiving the gospel of Jesus Christ into your heart. And then the last scripture I have here is we see, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12 to 13. What we have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. This is what we speak not in words taught us by human wisdom, but in words taught by the Spirit, explaining spiritual realities with spiritual, with Spirit-taught words. Okay, this is really good scripture. So, it's saying what we have received is not the Spirit of the world. Okay, when you receive God, the Spirit of God and the Spirit of the world is like oil and water. It doesn't mix. Um, the people of the world cannot comprehend God's Word because it's just not in their realm or their sphere of understanding. The only way they can understand God's Word is if they turn their back to sin and receive God, uh, receive Jesus, Jesus Christ into their heart, which will bring a transformation and then they can hear from God. But other than that, the, the Spirit of the world and the Spirit of God is two different things and it, and it doesn't coincide because there's two different um, realities or two different systems that's not you know not in collaboration so when you so 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 that we may understand what god has freely given us so the gift of god is free through jesus christ what he has done he has uh, paid the price on the cross to die for us to redeem us back to give us the opportunity and the chance to receive jesus christ so that we can have a relationship with god this is what we speak, not in words taught by human wisdom. See, the words from the Bible <clears throat> were written by men of God, inspired by the Holy Spirit to write. But these words, the Word of God is different from human wisdom. And the Word of God is from God Himself through the Holy Spirit. So human wisdom and wisdom of God is two different things. The wisdom of God is at another level, is above anything. So the, the human wisdom is, is different also. It's not powerful like God's wisdom because God is all powerful. He made us, he created us. So God's wisdom is above human wisdom, explaining spiritual realities with spirit taught words. So the spirit taught words is the word of God coming to us through reading his word. So that's why I always push to always read God's word daily because that's our channel, that's our our lifeline to God and that's how God communicates with us and that's how we renew our mind because during this time that coronavirus is is hitting us everyone's in a state of mind of fear in a state of panic but if you just receive the Word of God you you, you ground yourself in the Word of God and you, you you renew your mind to the Word of God and you let God's Spirit speak into your heart It'll, it'll take you to a place of peace. Because Jesus Christ is peace. Jesus Christ is love. Jesus Christ is grace. Jesus embodies all these words. 
So if you think of peace, real true peace comes from Jesus. So understand that, that peace comes from Jesus Christ. If you receive Jesus Christ, you're receiving peace, you're receiving love, you're receiving freedom, you're receiving transformation. But that has to be daily. It has to be a systematic thing where you keep doing it every day. So you gotta trust the system of going back to the basics of reading God's word so that you can receive God's guidance, receive God's love, and be a better representative of Jesus Christ in the world, in the community, in, the, in society, okay? So those are the scriptures I wanted to share. So effective com communication is key to every type of relationship. Effective communication helps us to connect with people. Okay, and the, the only way you can be effective in your communication is through the Spirit of God. Because whenever you speak to people, you want to leave them something that they can feel, that they can, um, that they can, they can take with them and remember, and also something that they can do. So effective leader will communicate something that people can take from them, apply to their lives, and influence them to do the things of God, influence them in a positive way to do um, kingdom things, like things that please God, things that glorify God. Okay. An effective leader that has great communication, communicates with clarity, direction, and also credibility. So this concludes our session today. Thank you so much for, for listening. Um, so, you know, as leaders, we must be ministry leaders, we must be confident in our, in our speech, confident in our deeds, but also be credible in our deeds. Whenever we speak, we want to be, speak with clarity and confidence and also have the credibility. And the way you build that credibility is through reading God's word, through prayer, and through humbling ourselves before him and practicing the presence of God. So thank you so much for listening. Please, leaders, be encouraged. Go back to the basics. God is trying to get us a, a attention, so we must humble ourselves so that he can heal the land. Thank you very much.